Hello, this is Tom Zaid here today, and I'm here with episode 3 of Feed the Beast Infinity. And what we will be doing today is getting some energy from the sun stored up and making an automatic smelting system. Hopefully, hopefully, we can get that all done today. So, then the first thing we need is a bat box. To get a bat box is pretty difficult these days because you need some tools so we need a cutter but to get a cutter to get, you've got iron plates and you've got to get a forge hammer which isn't the most expensive but it's just a bit of a faff I regret this change out hang on sorry about that interruption there but we are now back and yeah we were making we was trying to smell up some iron aren't we so we'll just grab a load of the Smelt it up good and proper, and we're also gonna need some tin. I think. Did we get much tin? We got a bit of tin. We got a bit of tin. But yeah, the automatic smelting system also doubles our ore. So from every one ore, we'll get two ingots, which is pretty, pretty sweet. If I do say so myself. Do so we have any just lying about? It's not looking good. We don't have any at all. Nope. So we need this to smelt up. What else will we be needing in the process? Oh, we need some rubber. Which, do we have any rubber? Do we even have any rubber saplings? Hmm. Right, that turns into rubber. But there's the other trees that are really better. Don't think I've come across any yet. Huh? Hmm. Looks like we might just have to plant some of these. Do we have any bones? That. I think I'm on peaceful. What am I doing with that? Bones. Oh yeah we do. That saved us. Right. In fact, whilst we're waiting for our smeltings, we shall just do a little harvest whilst we're at it. Might as well. Harvest it all. And then we'll replant it all. So I don't I haven't really looked after my farm that much if I'm being honest. I know I should do but I just haven't. Uh, potato and like that and then carrots. Black so there we go. We're planted. Right. Where can we put our rubber trees? Wait, these are rubber trees up here. So what you, I'll just plant these about. I don't know if they're really gonna grow wherever I'm placing them, but hopefully that'll do. And then did I get? I left it. Damn son, damn. So if we hop up here, and I've got a tree tap. I think this came in my bonus chest at the start. My tree tap. Uh, which way is it? This way. Yep. And with this what you can do is if we go over to this tree here hang on is there none about right please don't make me look a fool ah here we are right so you go to these you go like that and it takes the rubber off and you get sticky resin and then you smelt that up and you get rubber pretty straightforward but yeah uh, let's see is there any more knocking about usually they're up the tree they can be anywhere on the tree hmm oh there's another one there did i get it where'd it go they go flying i swear there they are right so we've got four rubber just right off the bat right there which way's home home is this way right there we go, so well, now we'll try and make these grow. Oh, that, we're not going to grow with that, right. right Do they grow off our meal? If we just go like that, yep, first time, boom. Nice one. Right, so now we can get some more off it. How quick has my inventory filled up? It was like empty earlier. That is ridiculous. I think I saw that. Nope, where did they go? There they are. 
like that anymore they do grow back by the way i forgot to mention they do grow back pretty nice pretty nice indeed anymore nope so how are we looking oh, got one there look how far that went then that is ridiculous Yep, we're looking good. Ah, oh, this is taking Michael to be honest. So taking the royal piss. Oh, how can I miss that one? I almost disappeared. Right, I saw a sapling. Right, that should do for now then. Just because I hear probably because there's a massive dark spot under here. Yep. Oh goddamn. Let's uh, leave them to that. <laughs> so we've got some stuff going on now. We can put that in there. Get some of that going. Let's empty off our sheet. Food, where can we put our food? Put it in this one, why not? There we go. We need this, there we go. We're actually getting a bit of somewhere, I feel now. Maybe, maybe not. We're gonna need more wood than that anyway. I may as well just made a load, but oh well. So it goes like that, and then does it not? like that and then I think we need to go like that and we need three of these like so and now we can make what we were needing tin cable so we need to cut a tin plate so to do that so we need I don't know how many we'll need we'll just go with one for now but yeah, we needed the cutter, which is iron. A lot of iron. Oh, yeah, there it is. Right, so, and then we cut the tin plate, and you get some tin cable. So, we're going to need a fair bit of these, I feel. So, we may as well make quite a few. Boom. So, now we're just waiting on our rubber there it is and we can make some fancy insulated tin cable and what do we do with this so we need wood and we need these I forgot about these these are a pain to make hmm redstone oh no they're not too bad not too bad at all get four ah not too bad at all not bad at all so now we need some redstone and I think we're almost there me think so we need some wood that is what we're needing right so and can we make this we can make one why can we only make one? Oh, I know why. Hmm. Where's my tin? There we Great. We should be able to make a fair few now. And there we go. Two more. So now I think we can make the bat box itself. Wait, it goes like that like that and is it that there yes so we have got our first machine typed block in this series which is pretty exciting stuff if you don't mind me saying we're not going to place it down yet in fact uh, I think the next thing we'll do 
is go for electric oh no the macerator how can I forget macerator which isn't too expensive at all I can play with oh we need copper cable now are you kidding so now we need to smell up some copperage. Right, I'm gonna do a bit off camera. Oh god damn. Oh god damn. Go away, go away, go away. Go away. Go away, son. So then we're back and I have got everything we need, I think, which includes a macerator, an electric furnace, a generator, and a bat box. We do also need a solar panel but we won't get that yet we'll get that later so then it all starts with the generator so we'll place that down boom in there we need some coal so we'll go and just nip up and get some coal we have quite a lot so we don't need to worry too much about resources we'll just grab half a stack for now uh, because we don't want to go mental just whilst we're getting it all set up. So you put the coal in there, the coal burns, and the energy goes into the buffer right here. That seems a bit loud to me, so I'm just gonna turn that down slightly. Right, so yeah, that's how much one piece of coal does, but what we need to do is store it, because obviously the generator doesn't store much. So we store it with the bat box. So as you can see, the energy is going from the generator into the bat box, which can hold a lot more energy. As you can see, it can hold 40, wait, we're at 40,000, 40,000. This, I, I don't know how much it is, 1,600, I think. So that's the first two steps of the system. The next thing we are in need of is a macerator. So with the macerator, can we... I'm not sure where we can place it. We might need a wrench because I don't think this wrench works, does it? No, this wrench doesn't work. So we might need to build another wrench because we need that dot. Unless there's one on the bottom as well. Hang on. I just filled out the bottom so I could dig down a bit. Uh, like, if I place some insulated cable there, I don't know if it'll work. I don't think it will. So that could be the first problem we've got on our hands. We might need a wrench. Nonetheless, we will give it a go. We'll, um, what were it, the macerator, actually. No, I don't want to give it a go because sometimes you don't get the block back. Sometimes it breaks. So... Basically, we need a wrench, and which wrench is it? I think it could be the industrial craft one. I think it's this one. Right, this doesn't look too easy to make. Right, I've clicked on add. So we need bronze. So we need to do that. We need bronze dust. And to do that, how do we do that? I think this is the easiest way to do it. Pulverize tin and copper dust. There's always one extra thing you always need to do. Does my head in. I thought I were there, but I forgot about this. Is there a way we can... Alright. We're going to lose the energy in this, but it's alright. If we place it... How can we place this? Like that. I think we should be sorted. Now we can place copper, I mean insulated tin cable there and there, get the macerator, so if we put power in this, we should get power going into this and that is a true fact right there. So now, things come out of this, um, I think you need to put it here, to take it out of that slot, and go into can it no I don't think it can go straight into something else I think we need that there and then we need our electronic furnace and then that needs to be pulled out into a chest which we'll go and make right now uh, do we have enough of course we do 
spoon like so it still probably is a good idea to make a wrench though because we are going to need it in future we go like that and put it like that that's just temporary we'll make a better one but that is the setup so let me show you how this is going to work so we get we'll just test it with 16 you know that's how we will test it so then oh wait we have we haven't fully finished i'm getting ahead of myself in fact we definitely haven't finished because we need to power these wooden pipes don't we that isn't too much of a problem though not too much of a problem at all because we've already got the equipment to do so over at the turtle setup because i made like 10 in us so if we head on over to the turtles and i think we just need two i think we just need two as you can see though it will go through quite a bit of coal so that's why we need to move on to solar energy probably in the next episode or i might do a bit off camera uh, but there's also another option of cork oven which basically it like puts it makes your coal more efficient so it makes it into a like a cork oven a coal cork i think it's called i'm not sure what am i chatting by right so we'll break this and we may as well take these levers and we'll break this oh. right i think we only need two we better only need two because i ain't tracking back over here we need some food that's what we need look how messy your inventory gets i need to make a bag well to be honest i need a full storage system sorting out and I an automatic one oh, that like sorts everything out for me and stuff all I do is put it in a chest and then the rest does itself which could be a fair project I've never actually done that before I've always wanted to but it's never quite happened right let's head on back I hate this it's so hard to get about I need to chop down all these trees oh yeah as if I haven't mentioned this I've created a little rubber farm just simple basic it's just easier to get everything right where's the entrance not there here it is we need to sleep because i've had a few creeper explosions in my base already which isn't good we need to be more careful about that because look here i had one as well um why have we what have we done why why, why are we here right yeah i'm remembering so if we place, get the levers, and like that, turn on the levers, place the engine, and they should start pumping. So now, we need to put that in there. Sorry about that. Right, I'm back. So, well, yeah, we put the iron ore in there we put the coal in here we need quite a bit this from one iron ore pumps out if you can see it quickly two crushed iron which then goes into the electric furnace slowly but surely there it is which then gets made into very quickly an iron ingot and then we get put in the chest as you can see I mean, it's quite a loud thing but that just adds to it really doesn't it so yeah the plan is i get a solar panel um which can run straight into the bat box uh, instead of having to do all this but i don't know what i don't know what the solar panels are in the contact Alright, ah, it's just the same as it is before, it's not too bad. I need to pulverise it, which isn't too hard to make, if I'm being honest. But that is a whole different episode, so thank you for watching this episode. I hope you've enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.